Hey guys. So, what's this light? Uh, done y'all I look so rough by the head look at this I think I want to start growing some sister locks so I might every time I think about growing hair it's very depressing but I have worn my hair this short for almost 10 years now y'all I think I'm just ready for a change and I don't want regular hair. I want like sister locks, dreadlocks. So I'm gonna try to grow some hair. Anyways, I am in Moline, Illinois. Uh, the flight. I don't. I, I don't even know what happened. <laughs> I have no idea what happened. The flight got to the gate. It came in delay. Yeah, I was sitting. There, yeah, I was vlogging. It came in delayed and then, you know, they had a, a crew swap, including the pilot. So pilots go down and the gate agents, you know, I am not one that likes to talk bad about gate agents because by God, they have a very stressful job. Um, but some of them are just, whew. anyways, so. I'm sitting there waiting for the customers to finish deplaning and the flight attendant to get off so I can go down and do what I need to do. And then, of course, you know, so I'm standing there, and as soon as the last person, I mean, y'all, this is the dough, the last person's foot, the dough, the door, the last person's foot was like right there. The gate agent was like, All right, are you ready? And I looked at her, <laughs> and mind you, I'm in a mindset of, you know, I'm a little tired. I literally just finished the flight, and laying and I see that I have this so I wasn't like I said I wasn't mentally prepared but it was just like calm down little lady so I looked at her and I said well can can I get on the aircraft and do my security and safety checks like do you, do you forget that we have to do that it's not just all about boarding the aircraft and making sure the customers are on turn she's like well it's a quick turn i said and well i need to do my safety checks and security checks not that it takes long i said but i'm not even down the jet bridge yet like i was still standing at the gate and you're asking me if i'm ready like come on come on so you know i'm clearly still on probation on reserve so i bite my lip bite it alexia don't say anything that's going to, you know, come off any type of way and get myself in any type of trouble. So I was just like, sure. You know, I said, let me get to the aircraft and stow my bags. And sure, go ahead and board the plane, right? So I get down there. And as I'm getting down, um, or going on, the my captain is coming off. He was like, I got to go talk to the gate agent real quick. So, you know, come back. He comes back in blowing steam, cursing left and right about this gate agent. And, you know, basically with all the same concerns that I had, like y'all have no, you know, she had no regard to what we have to do when we actually get on the aircraft. Like she's just literally worried about boarding this plane because it's a quick turn. First of all, it's a quick turn that's already delayed, boo. Like, <laughs> the plane came in delayed, so I'm sorry, it's already past departure time. So, yes, we still want to get out, but I'm not as pressed as you are. So, he's mad because he had to call, you know, they're doing their aircraft checks, and he needs to call maintenance to come look at a few things. And he's like, you know, she's down here already ready to board. Hasn't even come and checked with us to make sure anything's good. You know, I need maintenance on this aircraft. Like, y'all, that man was going in. And you know how, like, you don't know somebody and they, you admit, initially meet and they're just kind of on a tangent. And you don't know if their anger is, like, towards you or somebody else. So I was just kind of looking at him like, well, I know you're not mad at me because I just got here just like you did. I didn't do anything. But I was like, yeah, I was like, we'll sigh. Let it out. Mm-hmm. I feel you. Mm-hmm. 
So anyways, that happened. Maintenance came. They ended up switching our aircraft to a gate that was across the hallway so that ticked him off even more because his gate agent comes back down there like oh well they changed the gate to over there y'all can take that plane so uh and it was it's just a little 30 minute flight literally 30 minutes in the air get on board you know doing my compliance check customer customer before i could even say fasten your seatbelt, he was like do y'all serve liquor on this flight and I said, well, we do serve liquor, but I won't be serving liquor on this flight because it's a 30 minute flight and I don't have time to give everybody their beverage of choice, you know? And we, we have those options, y'all. Like, you, you do what you, you think is safe. Most people on the 30 minute flight, most flight attendants on the 30 minute flight ain't doing no service. Like, there's no service getting done on a 30 minute flight, especially when you're by yourself for one because think about it this 30 minutes includes this is flight time so that includes from wheels up to wheels down so for five minutes I'm sitting down for wheels up until we get to our cruising altitude and then for another five minutes I'm sitting down when we're landing so that's 10 minutes gone of my 20 minutes and then so that 20 minutes you want me to prepare my cart with everything which would probably take another five minutes serve the entire cabin come back and get trash do like i'm not doing all of that so needless to say this man you know i told him i said i would be happy to give you water or pretzels or cookies whatever you want and he's like looking at me with a stank eye and tissing me and i looked at him i said sir I said, honestly, I'm being really nice. I, most people wouldn't be doing a service. You know, I was like, it's honestly not, it's not safe for me to pull out a whole cart when we're literally only in the air with viable time, like 15, 20 minutes. Like, I don't have time for that so There's 50 y'all on this plane. You know, if I give you liquor, that person gonna want liquor, that person gonna want liquor, she gonna want apple juice, she gonna want, you know, like, no, we ain't doing all that. <sighs> Anyways, y'all, sometimes I just need to to vent, let it out. You know, not not a lot of things really get to me like truthfully, truthfully hardcore get to me. This wasn't one of those either, but this has been a long, this is what, day five of my six days. I have already listed myself on a flight to Houston at 9.55 tomorrow morning. So when I get back, crew scheduling better leave me alone we have a 4 45 a.m van 4 45 up out of here in the morning that flight back should probably be 30 minutes 35 minutes we're supposed to land at like seven and um i just i want to call crew scheduling and be like can i be released i'm <sighs> I just, I feel it in my heart right now that they're going to add a turn to me or something when I get there. Because I would still be legal for a turn or something. Or maybe even who knows how many more. But I'm just hope, <laughs> y'all. I can't even pray with me right now because y'all not going to see this until later. But y'all just say a prayer anyway. Like, please let them just, let me just get off the plane. Let nothing else be on my schedule. Let me just call and say, this is Flight Attendant Edwards. Can I please be released? And they just be like, sure, yeah, and then I can just go on home. Home. That's all I want. Um, I miss my dogs. I miss my babies. I miss Aspen. I miss Denver. So anyways, I'm not even like really trying to unpack my bag or I took my uniform off and put these clothes on. Me and my first officer, he's a really nice guy. We just went to Bennigan's, y'all. We pulled up and I was like, Bennigan's? I haven't seen a Bennigan's since they closed down Bennigan's at least a solid 10 years ago in Houston. I didn't even know they existed. So this hotel we're staying at is connected to a Bennigan's. So we got a little crew discount over there. So me and him went and ate over there. He's a really nice guy, kind of older. He's retired from um, the Marines. He's, you know, I think he said he's been here like three months or so. So we were just, you know exchanging life stories and stuff so that was nice you know every now and then you fly with a nice pilot and i mean all the all the pilots here pretty much have been really really nice um so yeah anyways i'm just blabbing um 
I was watching somebody else's YouTube video, like 10 YouTube video, I just found her. And she was doing a lot of blabbing. I was like, girl, stop talking. So that's kind of how I feel right now. Like y'all are probably like, Alexia, stop talking. I'm going to um, pack these clothes up. So I'm pull my uniform out for in the morning so I don't even have to. I always want to say I don't have to open this bag when my toiletries in there. I need to move that. Anyways, y'all, see y'all tomorrow. Hope that I have good news. Good morning, good people. Um, what time is it? 5.08 a.m. At the airport with no gate. <laughs> Our flight hasn't been assigned the gate, which is weird. Got Big Brother in my ear. Let me pause that. Little breakfast bag. This is what we get in the mornings from some hotels when we leave at the crack of dawn that serves breakfast. Okay. Yeah. Um, water. So, well, apple or or orchard apple danish. What else is in here? Chocolate chip granola bar. And an apple. That's what breakfast is. So, still hoping and praying that I get back to Chicago. And there's nothing on the schedule for me to do. I'm tired, y'all. <sighs> Tired. I wonder if this is good. I don't think this is gonna be good. Chef Pierre baking delicious since 1922. I'm just hungry. And I'm out of food. Pack my lunch and I'm out of food. Well, I really didn't even pack breakfast, so. Oh. It's alright. Oh look, yeah, we're at the right gate. We just popped up on the thing. And both of my pilots are gone looking for the gate. And I'm like, first of all, I probably don't leave until six something. And we're early, early. We're here at Pop Lab. Ain't no gate agent in sight. Like, sit down, relax, you know, take a breather. It's okay. <laughs> you know, that's how I am about everything. But anyways. I'm finish watching Big Brother, board this flight, fly 30 minutes, get back to Chicago, and pray for Lee. prayerfully go home to Houston. All right, y'all, so I got one win. Got back, called as soon as all the customers were off the aircraft, and they released me. It was like the best words I've heard in six days. <laughs> now I'm trying to catch a commute home, I'm at United trying to get on this eight o'clock flight. Uh, of course, it's full. There's ten people on the same flight. Would you like to take all these four roller bags, product items, and whatever you just need in front of you? Would you like to take the show route to walk or please see me at the special handling check for your two boarding club and fit the boarding process? If you're interested in checking your bag, please come see me at the main podium. I want to know how you board, which is the final destination. Thank you. Yeah, so there's 10 people on standby and I'm number 10 and I don't know the loads for this flight. So, fingers crossed. If not, I guess I can try the next one. And then if not, the first American flight back to Houston is at 9.55 and that's completely full too. But I'm the first person listed for the jump seat as of right now. Unless the main line American person knocks me out. So, we'll see. I'm just ready to get on a plane and go to sleep. That's all I want to do. Thank you. I have made it home, y'all. Thank the heavens. Got on the United flight. Got here 30 minutes earlier than planned. Oh, excuse me. Mommy came and picked me up. And look who it is. It's the birthday boy. Say hi, everybody. Today's my birthday. I'm 10 years old. Can you believe you're 10? I cannot believe I've had him for 10 years. I got Aspen when he was, I think eight weeks. Oh, Mommy's gonna go get you a birthday cupcake. You wanna say anything to the camera? Are you, look, look at yourself, there you go. Uh, no, right, right, right here. Yeah, oh, you're so handsome. I need a haircut. 
Yes, yeah, sure you do. And actually, you just need a trim. You feel nice and soft. Did your grandma give you a bath? Well, here comes Denver. Denver, did you tell Aspen happy birthday? Did you? Hi, big girl. Okay, no, no kisses on the lips. We don't do that in this household. All right, y'all. Oh, my, my knees are my Change my clothes. And uh, me and my mother are about to go get something to eat. All right, well, anyways, thank you for watching. Until next time, make sure you subscribe. Remember, we need nine subscribers a day till the end of the year, okay? Bye. Subscribe, like, and share.